This introduction to the nasal cavity and paranasal sinuses was created by Beyond 5 for the benefit of patients and families affected by nasal cavity and paranasal sinus cancer. When air is breathed in through the nose, it enters the nasal cavity. In the middle of the nasal cavity is the nasal septum, which separates the left from the right side. On the sides of the nasal cavity are special spongy tissues called turbinates. If they swell, it blocks the nasal cavity, making it hard to breathe temporarily on that side. The nasal cavity connects with the paranasal sinuses. These are air-filled spaces in the bones of the face. The paranasal sinuses include the maxillary sinus, the frontal sinus, the sphenoid sinus, and the ethmoid sinus. The nasal cavity and paranasal sinuses have several important jobs. Firstly, they warm, moisten and filter the air breathed in through the nose before it travels down into the lungs. They also affect the sound of your voice, giving it resonance. Finally, the sinuses make the skull less heavy by replacing some of the bone with air. Cancer that starts in the nasal cavity is called nasal cancer, and cancers that start in the sinuses is called paranasal sinus cancer. Nasal and sinus cancers can cause symptoms such as blocked nose, usually on one side, and nosebleeds, a lump or sore inside the nose that doesn't heal, headaches, or a decreased sense of smell. If the cancer involves tissue near the eye, it can cause symptoms such as bulging of one eye, double vision, or watering of the eye. Swelling and numbness can also develop in parts of the face, especially in the upper cheek, where the maxillary sinus is located. Tumors here can also cause loose teeth in the upper jaw, a lump in the roof of the mouth or gum, or dentures to stop fitting well. If nasal or sinus cancers spread to lymph glands, there may be a lump in the neck. Lymph nodes are bean-shaped glands in the neck that are part of the immune system's defense against infection. Nasal and sinus cancers are generally treated with surgery. Many patients receive a combination of treatments, including radiotherapy and chemotherapy. Depending on the size and the location of the cancer, your specialist may suggest treatment options that are suitable for you. For further information, please visit www.beyond5.org.au.